All right, so if you want to go ahead and sign to the Zoom session. Oh, it's just going to knock down everything. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Scott, uh, we're going to get started here in just a couple of minutes. Um, Ms. Kilpatrick, while yeah. we wait, I got a question. Uh huh. For, hold up, let me go to the course real quick because um, I called, but it went to voicemail. So hold up. Right. Yes, because I was at lunch. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. What was, what was the question about? Um, it's about the 2.7 voice activity. You well, said for one of them, it mm -hmm. says say whether um the weather is using one weather expression. You and then you said use a I said not the net to give the weather. Right. And I look, so we like I look, hace frío, hace calor, that sort of thing. Yeah. And I looked at the thing and I did use I said. I didn't use the neg. Okay, uh, but did you listen to the recording? Yes. Okay. Well, if you yeah. want to resub, if you want to resubmit it, but I what I I was hearing something other than I say. Yeah, I just listened to it right now, and it said I said I said mucho calor. I said mucho calor. Yeah. So that would be the thing. All right. Um, try to put on the brand. Do you know how to make it have the um, thing? Uh, let's see. Um, what's the thing where you can see the, the, the written words? Yeah. You should be able to turn it on too. Okay, looks like you did that. Okay, thank you. Because for some reason I'm having a hard time with that. I asked him, are those what kind of ears are those? Cat ears, okay. Okay, so we're gonna get started in about one more minute. This is not gonna be a terribly long lesson. But uh, we are going to go over a few different things for the written assignment and the DBA. Get you guys prepared for those. Scott, when we're all done, if you want to go over 207, when we're all done with everything, um, we can look at that, OK? OK. Well, this is a better turnout than we've had in a while. Because it was good having a hurricane break. <laughs> okay. All right. And I do have a kitten running around getting into trouble. So if I I had to get her off the keyboard, we have a keyboard here in this room and and uh, yeah. She was trying to get up on the windowsill and go from there. And she's she's already discovered how to jump really high. All right, let's go ahead and get started. It is now 12. All right, so we're going to be going over lessons 205 and 206. I think this is great. Okay, so before we start 205, we want to review a little bit lessons 203 and 204. Remember, in those lessons, we learned how to use Gustar to invite someone to do something like, um, you study at year of cine? Would you like to go to the movies? Or, um, would you like to leave with me to go out? Those types of things. Stem changing verbs. Uh, that's something that you know, we, we're going to review a little bit today, but it is 
you need to make sure that you understand your stem changing verbs. Remember that the nosotros and vosotros forms don't stem change. Every other form does. And it's always in the second to last syllable where you have a stem change and it's always a vowel that changes to like U-E or O-U and it's or I in some cases. Okay, so make sure that you uh, go over those lessons 203 and 204 for that. We've got con, with, which means with, contigo with you, conmigo with me, telling time. Okay, I'm not going to go over telling time right now, but you know, just mention that uh, days, you, know, you want to know what is morning after the evening. You want to know, um, you know, the different ways to tell the time. You know, like if it's right now, it's 12 o'clock, I'd say, son las doce. But if I was using the 24 hour clock, I would say, es el mediodía, or I could also say, uh, son las, um, yeah, son las doce as well. <laughs> son las doce horas. Okay. Uh, dating traditions. The DBA um, is going to ask you some questions about dating traditions. And that's something we're doing today, but dating traditions are covered in lessons 203 and 204. So if you don't know about dating traditions in the Caribbean, definitely review lessons 203 and 204. Sports vocab um, and then clothing. We've learned a lot more clothing items in lessons 203 and 204. So today for 205, that's a written assignment that we're doing. And our objective is to read a simple narrative describing the life of a teen in a Spanish speaking country. Write a simple narrative describing your life, activities, and the occupations and activities of family members. These are the state standards. All right, so let's go over this for 205. Okay, so for 205, you're gonna write four sentences. And you're gonna have one picture that goes with each sentence. I had someone turn in this assignment to me, um, I guess last night. And when I graded it this morning, the person had written out the sentences, but had forgotten the pictures. So you wanna make sure that you include the pictures. The pictures can be a photograph you take, could be a picture you find on the internet, could be a drawing that you make if you like to draw, could also be clip art. Okay, it doesn't have to be any, it's not a big deal, okay, but it has to be included. So we're going to go over the type of sentences. The first sentence, it says, uh, write one, and of course that tells you the image picture, okay, an image of something you do by yourself after school. Um, you're going to write one sentence in Spanish telling me an activity you do by yourself after school, and they, they're giving you the example I start my homework at 5 p.m. Okay, so let's look over here on the right-hand side. The right-hand side says use the correct form of one of the following stem changing, changing verbs. You're gonna use the yo form of one of these verbs. You're not gonna say, me gusta dormir, I like to sleep. You'd say, yo duermo, or whichever one of these that you use, okay? So puedo, duermo, quiero, empiezo, digo, juego. Those are the yo forms of those verbs. And you're gonna pick an activity, okay? And it tells you that poder, dormir, the O becomes U-E. Querer and empezar, the E becomes I-E. Jugar, the U becomes U-E. And decir, the E becomes I. Just to kind of give you help, to remind you that these are stem changing verbs. And then you're gonna add that event that you do to something after school. And you're gonna say, uh, you're gonna give me a time. It says you use a la or a las to tell time. So for this first sentence, you need a specific time. So uh, I'm gonna use an example, okay? I might say, um, yo quiero bailar a las cuatro de la tarde, después de las cuatro. I want to dance at four in the afternoon. And I added on after school. You don't have to add that. You could just say, you quiero bailar a las cuatro de la tarde. I want to dance at, at 4 p.m., okay? Uh, that's my example. Please don't use my example when you turn it on. Use your own sentence, your own thing that you like to do. 
A lot of you are into sports. If you like to play sports, you know, tell me that, okay? But don't use Gustar. You know, you play sports. You don't like to play sports. Does that make, a, does that make sense? We're not saying we like to do something, but we actually do do this thing, okay? Remember, pull the is to be able to do something. Oh, my goodness, sorry. It's just... Well, there is to be able to do something or can, like yo puedo bailar, I can dance, something like that, okay? Let's look at uh, any questions on the first sentence. Any questions on this first one? Okay. So uh, Scott, Israel, Mason, and everybody else, please turn on your camera so I can see your wonderful smiling faces. This is uh, better than talking to a black screen with your name. Okay, so thank you, Scott. All right, so second sentence says, place an image of something you prefer to do by yourself after school. Write one sentence in Spanish describing an activity you prefer to do by yourself after school. Now, in this case, you don't have to give me a specific time. You can say in the afternoon or in the evening. Um, assuming you're not doing anything in the morning because this is after school, okay? So something in the afternoon or the evening. And the, remember, prefer is a stem changing verb where the E becomes I-E, so prefiero. It's this E, the second E. Stem changing verb, stem changing the second to last syllable. So prefiero, what's something that you prefer to do? Who would like to give me an example of something that you prefer to do? Something after school. Now it says you can add an event like after school in the afternoon. And you can give a specific time if you want or every day. So our phrase for every day is todos los días. So I might say, prefiero comer galletas todos los días. I prefer to eat cookies every day. Not really. But um, anyway, you know, that's something that you could say. That's an example. Now it says use Allah or Allah to give time, but in this situation, that's only if you're giving a specific time. So this sentence, you can just tell me a certain time of day. All right, let's go to the third sentence. Place an image of an activity you do with your friends after school. Okay, so it's write one sentence in Spanish describing an activity you do with your friends after school. Their example is, I run in the park with my dog Sparky at 6 p.m. I've given it an exact time. Uh, you don't have to give an exact time here. You could also say in the afternoon or at 4 p.m. or every day or after school, something like that. But the big thing here is you're using con. Con means with. So this is an activity, oops, that you do with friends. Okay, so who would like to give me an example? You could write this in the chat box. Let's see. Okay, okay. Give me an example of something that you could do with a friend or with friends after school. You guys could type it in the chat box if you're feeling shy. Nobody's doing anything. This isn't like texting. I can't see the dot, dot, dot if you're actually in the process of writing something. Okay. So an example, I could say, um, so, okay. So I'm, let's say I practice uh, soccer with my friends after school, okay? So how would I say, I practice soccer? In Spanish. Right. What's the word to practice? Practicar, what's the yo form of practicar? Okay, 
ratito. I practice. And our word for soccer is what? Football, right. So, <clears throat> practico football with my friends. How would, how would I say with my friends? Oh, well, not conmigo. Conmigo means with me. Conmigo is with myself, right? Aspen says con mis amigos, right? So we want to say practico football. Con mis amigos, when? When do we do that? Do we do it, do it in the afternoon, in the evening? When do we do that? Practico football con mis amigos en la tarde, in the afternoon, you know, for la tarde or in la tarde. All right, let's flip it back. You guys understand what to do here for the third sentence? Okay, because I'm, you guys are kind of holding back there. The last sentence, we want to, you want to have a picture of you and your family. And then in some activities is write one sentence in Spanish describing an activity you and your family do after school. Okay. Now it says here in under remember, you use the indirect object pronouns with the verb gustar. So in this sentence, we're using gustar to say, you know, I, I do this with my family or me and my family. We do, we like to do this. Okay. And remember, may is for yourself, te is for you, le is for he or she, os would be for vosotros, used in Spain, nos would be for nosotros, us, and le should be they. Okay, so in English, they've got my family and I like to paint in the afternoon. So how would you say my family and I like? Uh, or just my family and I? Okay, Brea's got mi familia y yo. Very good. So mi familia y yo, and how to say we like using Gustar. Nos gusta, right. Mi familia y yo, nos gusta. And what's the activity? Well, they've used paint. Please don't use the examples in parentheses. Paint is pintar. So, mi familia y yo nos gusta pintar por la tarde. We like to paint in the afternoon. Okay. So, remember that the verb coming after nos gusta has to be an infinitive. Do you guys have any questions? Okay. So, you all feel like you can do this writing assignment with no trouble? Okay, so that's the 205. The 206 is a review of your, for your DBA. Okay, and there's a lot of objectives here. 206 covers lessons 201 through 205. Okay, so we, we're gonna use conversations about our likes and dislikes, uh, things, uh, you know, things we like, uh, activities one does after school or on weekends, personal preferences, got all these different things, okay? And of course, this is the state standards. Whenever you have a DBA, the very first thing you need to do is go to my announcement page. You see this, this bookcase is kind of on the bottom of the page, right? 
And you want to click where it says DBA review materials. This is available for all of your DBAs. So when we do that, this is our 2.6 DBA. And this is a list of things that are probably going to be asked about for on the DBA. All right, now it says, telling me what you do or don't like using the word me. What is me mean? You guys remember what me means? It's not me, it's me and I. You see it here. What does the word me mean? Okay, well, it's neither, like neither nor, or nor, neither nor, right. So, okay, so I could say, um, no me gusta limpiar la casa, ni cocinar. I don't like to clean the house or cook. Not really true. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> Everybody has to clean. Okay, and then one thing might be to make a sentence with cone and seam. Cone means, what does cone mean? Means with, and C means the opposite, without. So with and without. So um, I I often find um, food examples are good. So if I was using with and without in English, I would say um, I want a hamburger with mayonnaise, but without a pickle. Okay, and um, you know, that's a good English example, but you want to come up with a different example, okay, in Spanish, obviously. And then you got to know the difference between tocar and jugar. So, you, oops. What's, what is, what do these verbs mean, tocar and jugar? You guys need to unmute a little bit here. Let's unmute. Tell me what tocar and jugar mean. Can you use them in a sentence? Do you know what they mean? Hugar is to play. What about tokar? Uh, tokar means to touch. To touch, it also means to play. They both mean to play. But when do we use them? We use them differently. Okay. What might be things that you would touch with Tokar? Might touch your hair, but what's something else that we often use Tokar with? Like touching a football or a baseball? Ooh, that would be a different kind of, no, because that's playing. Okay, if I'm going to play the piano, am I going to use Tokar or Hugar? What, which to one of them? Tokar. Okay, yes, Tokar. We use Tokar when we play an instrument. Uh, what about Hugar? What am I going to use Hugar? Yeah. When you're playing sport. like a traditional sport. Right. Okay, let's look at Gustar and Encantar. Remember, we know that gustar, me gusta, te gusta, all that. And encantar is used the same way. Me encanta, te encanta, all that. What, well, they, they're very similar, but how are they different? How are they different from each other? I'm shy. You can write in the chat box too if you're shy. What's the difference between Gustar and Encantar?
Nobody knows, okay. So Brea says, Bustar means to like and Encantar means to love. That is correct, okay. It's not romantic love. It's like, you know, I like cookies, but I love three musketeers bars, something like that. I'm sorry, I'm all on the food. I didn't get enough lunch. Okay. <laughs> all right, Mason, you're, I can see you're eating your lunch there still. Okay. All right. Caribbean athletes, chef and, chefs and musicians, what do they do each day? Um, we learned in our cultural stuff in the lessons a little bit about people who are athletes, chefs, or musicians who live in the Caribbean. And you would use a stem changing verb to tell me something that they do. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna make you give me an example of that right now, but it's something you need to be aware of. Dating traditions in Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. You, def, you just wanna have a general overview of what are the dating traditions in the Caribbean. But there are a few differences in these three countries. So the best way is review lessons 203 and 204 because that's where the dating traditions are presented in those cultural uh, sections, okay? You guys have any questions on this part? Okay, so when you you clicked DBA review materials, and then you've got this, you want to click on Hippo review sheet, and that brings up this. Okay, and it's a review of stem changing verbs. Remember, they are root verbs, and it also has uh, you know different things here of. of like these are the ones where O becomes U E, these ones here. These are the ones where E becomes I E. These are the ones where E becomes I. And some of these are a little messed up um, <clears throat> as far as column. <laughs> okay, we've got pastimes. All of this is about increasing your vocab. Okay, clothing words, weather expressions. The second half of this page gives you a little bit more um, time expressions like siempre is always, nunca is never, they say sometimes. These kinds of things are going to help you with 205 as well. Okay. Um, okay, we've got some more weather expressions and just lots of different things. Um, some of you had trouble with um, tenere expressions. And, and that's here too, like tingle swing you, I'm sleepy, tengo mucho today, I have a lot of homework, um, you know, lots of different things like that. You guys have questions about this? Would you like to do some Kahoot? We're gonna try a little Kahoot here. Let me get. We're gonna do. We're gonna go over our stem changing verbs. It's only ten questions, okay? Because these are ones that really mess you guys up. And there's, uh, let's see, there are only six of you here today, so I'll wait for all six of you to log in. If you're on a computer, I will tell you here in just a minute what to do. Classic mode. Okay, so if you're on a computer, go to www.kahoot.it. If you're on your phone, you can use your Kahoot app, and this is our PIN number. So there's only six of you here. I want to go ahead and, and take a picture of the six on my list here. So I'm there. Okay. Go ahead and log in, and once you're logged in, we will play. And if you have a question about something, you can still chat me in the box. All right, four more. So yeah, four more of you need to log in. We've got Mason and Yadiel are logged in. Are you, any of you having trouble logging in? 
Okay, three more. Okay, we've got everybody. Let's start. Okay, so we're we're picking up the correct form of Hugar for yo. What is the yo form of Hugar? Is it Hugo, Hugas, Fuego, or Fuegas? These are all stem changing verbs. Remember that, that'll help you. Okay, the correct answer is fuego. Remember the U becomes U E. Uh, let's see, Hugas and Hugo. Hugo is juice, by the way. So, <laughs> all right, go to the next one. Nosotros. And we went to nosotros form of almorzar. Okay, is it almorzamos, almuerzamos, almorza or almuerza? What is it for nosotros? Correct answer is almorzamos. Uh, and that's because the O does not stem change for nosotros or vosotros. So three of you got this. Ellos blank comer el desayuno a las nueve de la mañana. So we need the ellos form of preferir. Is it preferen, prefieren, prefieren, or prefieren? So be tricky. Remember where skin changes happen. Okay, so the correct answer is green here. It's prefieren because it's for preferir, the stem change happens in the second E, the second to last syllable. Okay, so some of these were really messing you guys up. Okay, so Yadiel doing good. Okay, yo blank cocinar, muy bueno. This should be muy, not mug. Okay, what is the yo form of poder? Is it puedo, pudes, pudo, or puedes? It is a stem changing verb. It is puedo. Four of you got this. Good. Getting better. Nosotros acostarse muy temprano. Okay, this is a, a reflexive verb. So if you don't get this perfect, don't sweat it. But is it acostamos? Is it nos acost acostemos? Acostamos or nos acostamos? What is it? It is nos acostamos. Okay, so one thing, whenever you see that word, the letters S-E on the end of a verb that tells you right there, it's a reflexive verb, but acostar is also a stem changing verb where the O becomes U-E. So the, for the say, we use the indirect object pronoun nos, and then it does not stem change though for the nosotros form. So nos acostamos. Cuantos años blank two? So what is the two form of the verb tener? Is it tenes, tienes, teno, or tiene? Stem changing verb. So you should know. The correct answer is tienes. Okay, where E becomes IE. El camarero blank las hamburguesas con las papas fritas. Okay, so what is the correct form of the verb servir? Is it sirvi, ser, sirve, or sirvi?
Correct answer is sirve, which most of you got. Okay, it becomes the E becomes I. Sirve. Ellas no blank. Entender la lección. Okay. Um, so entender is that that's supposed to be in parentheses. We want the AS form of entender. Is it entienden, entienden, entiendan, or entendan? Okay, correct answer is entienden. It's an ER verb, so it has to end with EN, not AN, and it's a stem changing verb. El blank trabajar a las ocho de la mañana. We want the el form of empezar. Empeza, empuesa, empiezo, or empezar. Correct answer is empieza, which most of you got that. It's good. Our right, last question. Nosotros blank la ensalada con pollo en el restaurante. So we want the nosotros form of pedir. Is it pedimos, pedemos, pedimos, or pedemos? Tricky, tricky. But the answer is pedimos. It's an IR verb. Nosotros form never stem changes. So the E stays quite the way it was. Okay, and it's emos for nosotros, so pedimos. All right, let's see we've got it. <laughs> Third place is Yadiel, very good. Second place, Mason. First place is Candice. All right, very good. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do that one other one. All right, let's do Gustar versus Encantar. A lot of you um, were a little unsure about Gustar versus Encantar, so we're gonna do that. Okay. Okay. So there's six of you still. Let's log in. And this is all this is our last Kahoot. Okay, three more of you. Two more. Israel, are you having trouble logging in? There we go. Oh. All right. Who is Candace? All right, Gustar versus Encantar. Gustar, what does it mean? Freak, to freak out, to like, to live, to play. What does it mean? To like. Oh, it's not to play, it's to like. And cantar, what does it mean? To love, to like, to live, to play. To love. Gusta versus gustan. A mí me blank las naranjas. Should we use gusta or gustan? Should we use gustan because naranjas is plural. We've got more than one orange here.
A ella le blanca el color morado. So we use gusta or gustan. We should use gusta because color is singular. A nosotros nos blank la clase de matemáticas. Should we use gusta or gustan? We're gonna use gusta because clase is singular. A ustedes les blank los videos de TikTok. Is it gusta or gustan? It's gustan because videos is plural. That's better. A él le blank el color gris. Should it be gusta or gustan? Gusta, very good, because color is singular. A mí me blank la pizza. Okay, should it be gustar, gustan, gusta, or what? It should be gusta, because pizza is singular. Me gusta mucho. Does it mean don't like it, like it better, don't like it at all, or like it a lot. It's, I like it a lot, and it should be I, because May is I, so I like it a lot. No me gusta para nada. Does it mean don't like it? Like it better? Don't like it at all? Like it a lot. Don't like it at all. No me gusta para nada. You all got this correct? Very good. True or false? A ti te gusta, Kahoot? This is just a a giveaway. True, because we're using gusta. A él le gusta la música. Is it, I like music, I do not like music, he likes music, or he does not like music. He likes music. A él le blank los chocolates. Is it gustar, gustan, gusta, or I don't know. It's gustan because chocolates is plural. A ellos blank gusta el sushi. Should it be me, les, te, or nos? That would go with ellos. It should be les. Okay, me goes with yo, with myself. Okay, te would be with you, familiar. Nos would be with nosotros, all of us. But ellos would be les. A mí blank gusta el baseball. Should it be os, te, me, or nos? It's me. This is the hint. The me, a me, myself, me gusta el baseball.
A nosotros blank gusta McDonald's. Should it be nay, lay, lace, or nos to go with nosotros? Should be nos. That's the hint right there. Nosotros. A usted blank gusta el cereal? Is it may, lay, lace, or nos? It should be lay. Lay goes with el, ella, or usted. A mi amigo blank gusta el chocolate. Is it lay, te, me, or nos? Okay, the answer is lay. Okay, this is the lay refers to my friend. My friend, he likes chocolate. Okay. A mis amigos, blank, puste el balanceto. Should we may, te, lace, or nose? Answer is lace, and most of you got that because lace refers to my friends. We've got more than one person here that's a friend. Right. A ustedes no les gusta Burger King. You all like Burger King. Who likes Burger King? You all love Burger King, and, and you all don't like Burger King. The answer is you all don't like Burger King because there's a no in there. No les gusta. All right, next one. A Carlos le blank los deportes. Should we use gustan, gusta, gustar, or intentar? Okay, the answer is gustan, because the portes is plural, sports. A ella no le gusta el color azul. She doesn't like the color blue. I don't like the color blue. She loves the color blue. They like the color blue. What's our right answer? It's she doesn't like the color blue. Lose somebody here. A vosotros, no os gusta leer. You all like to read, you all don't like to read, we love to read, or we don't like to read. The answer is you all don't like to read. Vosotros means all of you, okay? but it's used in Spain. Is the following sentence correct? A mí no me gusta el color amarillo. We're basing it off this picture. True or false? A mí no me gusta el color amarillo. Uh, and it's also based off, is this correct grammatically? It's not correct grammatically because color is singular. So it should be, a mí no me gusta. And color amarillo. All right. One more question. Is the following sentence correct? A ti te encanta escribir. True or false? A ti te encanta escribir. Is it grammatically correct? It is true. It is correct. The only thing I'd say is that they forgot the accent on the T. A T thing contest. 
Let's see how we did. Third place is Mason, very good. Second place is Jamie. Third, and first place is Yadi. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right. Yeah, like this. So um, the last page of our lesson here is the collaboration. Have you guys all turned in your collaboration assignment? Have you all done that? It's 40 easy points. So if you haven't, the, the last assignment that comes after your 3.10 exam is going to say Colaboración de Segmento Uno. And if you want to do your collaboration, you open it up. And you'll write um, that we, you came to the live lesson for 205 and 206 today. You're gonna tell me what did you enjoy about working with other students and what did you learn? And that's it. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, Mason, what's your question? You gotta unmute. Can't hear you. I'm not hearing anything. Now I hear a dog. Oh, I don't hear. Sorry, my dog was barking. Um, come esta tu gatita pumpkin ah, spice? Let me show you. Hold on. Here, she's a little wild right now. This is our little kitten, oh. pumpkin spice. And she's, uh, she's there, there she is. Oops, oh. not on camera. <laughs> okay, so she's a little cute. wild, but she's good. She got her first shot yesterday and she's not very happy about that, but uh, yeah, she's good. You guys have any questions about the lesson though or anything that I can help you with? Okay, well, I'm going to turn this off. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please text, call, or email. All right, have a great day. Bye. Bye.